Welcome to the next session of Hansen's Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing long fins for transient thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on transient thermal. We will first go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. Let me choose copper alloy as the material for the fins. I'll go back to project, update project. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click. New design modular geometry. Units, millimeter, XY, look at. I'll go to sketching. I'll first draw a rectangle and give it dimensions. Sixty by sixty mm. I'll extrude it for a depth of twenty five mm. Now this is the wall on which I am going to draw my fins. On this face, I will make a new plane, generate, look at, I'll go to sketching now, I'll draw circular fins, so I'll draw one circle and give it diameter, see the diameter is 3 mm, now I'll mark its distance from the two edges. Say these distances are 4 each. Now I'll click on extrude and the circle is already chosen. Instead of add material, I'll go for add frozen. Next, I'll give the depth as 100 mm. Generate. Now we need to create many such fins. So I will go to create pattern. I'll select this geometry, apply, and my direction is this one. I'll give offset as say 5 mm, and I want to create say 8 fills. Generate. So, with this offset, I can create more fins, or I can just change the offset to 7 mm. Change it to 6 mm. Okay, so this is enough. Next, I'll go for another pattern. Now, I'm going to select all of these fins together. So, just press the control button and select each of them. All are selected. Apply. Direction is the y axis. We want it downwards, so just click here. Generate. So fins are created. This is the geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to geometry. You can see here the solid is structural steel. I'll just change the material of rest of them. So I'll select all of them. You can randomly check all the material of copper alloy. Only this wall I have left it to structural steel. So that completes my material allotment. Next, I'll go to mesh. I'll choose sizing as fine and update. Next, I'll go to analysis settings. I'll choose number of steps as 15. 
I will insert temperature of this material wall as say 500 degree Celsius. I'll choose initial temperature as 22 and I want to see the result of temperature change over this body. I'll go to solution and solve. So let's take the temperature. You can see here the change of temperature over the entire field based on the two materials that we have. You can see here the temperature changing over the time. Next we will insert total heat flux and we will insert directional heat flux. This direction is Z. So I change the orientation to Z axis and solve once again. This is the total heat flux over the body. You can see here this value is changing with respect to time. This is the value that we have obtained and you can see here this is the time which is being shown up to 15 seconds that is the time that we have given and this is the direction heat flux you can see along this axis the heat flow is taking place very close to the wall the amount of heat flux is more and away from the wall the value is less you can just click here on the minimum value so that you can just see the maximum value changing over time if you want to obtain this result with you, you can just right click over here and select all, right click and export. You can just give some name to it, say data and save it whenever you want. It is a text file that will be saved. So this is how you can save the data obtained. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze fins with transient thermal analysis module. We have also analyzed the same problem using simple steady state analysis. You can check the result of that analysis as well. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.